and friends, this is the Sapper Gardener, Rob, and today we're going to talk about a, a topic uh, inspired by some of our YouTube friends, uh, Lisa over at the Barkley Homestead, and also by uh, Eccentric Nature. Uh, they've done some uh, herb preservation videos lately. Come around this side, buddy, if you want to be on the camera. So we thought we'd take this opportunity to show you, where are you? Are you hiding? <laughs> Come on. But we thought we'd take this opportunity to uh, show some of what we're doing to preserve herbs at our homestead. And uh, everybody has different systems, but we thought we would show you some of ours. What are you saying, buddy? Doing a puppet show. He's doing a puppet show for you guys. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you for the puppet show, buddy. So this isn't going to be a long video. Um, we've been preserving foods uh, for the longest, but we've not been doing intensive uh, preservation and storage. So just wanted to talk about a few of the things uh, we have here on the table and one thing that we don't have on the table. So uh, everybody knows about dehydrating racks. We have more of these downstairs. These are really simple. You take your herbs, you bring them in, you put them on the rack and you uh, put them on low heat to dry them out. So we take things like this and we've been doing this for the longest and we would put our herbs in it. We would set our oven on the very lowest temperature and uh, we would dry our herbs on here and then we take them and then we put them in whatever we're gonna store them in. Uh, another thing that we use for dehydrating herbs, which I'll try to put a picture of it here or here or somewhere. Uh, we have a sun oven, which we use for cooking. Uh, but you can also use the solar sun oven or the all american sun oven or whatever sun oven you have <clears throat> and you can also use it as a dehydrator a lot of people buy the the electric dehydrators those work fine too but we don't have that but our sun oven works just as well as those so you take your sun oven you put whatever herbs you're doing and the sun oven actually comes with dehydrating racks also and instead of sealing it, you put it out in the sun, but you don't seal it. You leave the lid open just a little bit and it works just like the oven, minus the cheddar you pay for the electricity. So the sun oven's another tool that we've bought at our place that we use to dehydrate our herbs and not just herbs, other things too. Uh, but we also want to do something and I watched one of uh, Papa Pepper's videos today and he talked about using things that you already have and we've been somewhat doing that, but now we're making more of a conscious effort to do that. So when we dehydrate our herbs, we have different type containers and some we've bought, like these are simply ball jars that we can fill with uh, herbs but we also have made a conscious effort to buy jars that we know that we can use and reuse. Like this one contains basil. We have a ton of basil on our property. So when we start doing that, we'll have jars like these that we can reuse. We've also bought some specialty jars. This is another um, ball jar. And this actually has one of our barbecue rubs in. So we try to do our barbecue rubs in uh, larger quantities instead of mixing it every time. That way we know it's consistent, but we use uh, different ball jars. And we also buy or bought these jars. So we've got, you know, three different type ball or ball knockoff jars that we can put herbs in, but just like this one here that we bought and it comes with herbs, but can be reused over again. We took a tip from Papa Pepper. He sent us something last year, um, some uh, Carolina Reaper pepper flakes. 
He also sent us some toothache plants in case we get toothaches or, or any other discomfort in the mouth. And we love what he did. This one, I'm not sure what was in this jar before, but it's obviously uh, upcycled for use with the pepper. And this one is just a baby food jar, but it works perfectly. You close it, it seals, it helps keep the oxygen out uh, so that this will last a long time. We also use a couple of tools. Uh, I talked about it on one of our previous videos. Uh, we bought some silica gel desiccant. I call them dehydrators, but it's a desiccant. You can look up what that means. <laughs> But we take these and when we fill up a jar, this one doesn't have it, um, which I don't know why I forgot to put one in here, but we'll put one of these in the jar and that will help to absorb any moisture that might get in the jar so that your herbs stay uh, fresher, longer, and viable longer. We also have a food saver system that we use. And these jars can go on to help suck the air out so that it preserves those longer. And I think we ordered those on, did we order that on Amazon, sweetie? Or did we buy that in the store? So we ordered that on Amazon, but you can find them at some of your local stores too. So a lot of different things that we use and when we do some of our garden tours, you'll notice we have herbs everywhere. We've got purple basil, Thai basil, sweet basil, and it's strategically placed out in the garden as a companion plant. We do love to eat the basil, we do harvest it, but we plant it more as a companion than we do just as a herb, but we'll harvest that. We've got sage as a companion plant all throughout the garden everywhere. So you'll see sage and we actually, we planted more sage this year, but we've got some sage that overwintered and you'll notice some of the still dead dry leaves, but you'll see new growth, which I wasn't sure if the sage would be a perennial for us, but we're happy that it's coming back. We've got lavender, we've got mint everywhere. We've got mint places we don't want to have mint, but we can start to uh, save some of that. Uh, we're growing stevia, uh, coriander, um, thyme. So every herb that can be companion planted with something else, we've got out in our garden. And these are some of the ways that we'll use to uh, dehydrate and store it. One other thing, and again, we want to try to make this a quick video. We have two tools that we use for grinding up our herbs when we dehydrate them. We've had this for probably 10, 15 years, and it's just a standard mortar and pestle. You put your herbs in there when they're dry, you grind them up. Uh, we use this for peanuts, for other things too. And it's just one of those tools that it will never go out of style. And no matter what else you do to uh, grind something up, the mortar and pestle is timeless. So this one is still in great shape, but we saw a video that Lisa at Barkley Homestead did. And uh, when we saw it, because uh, I believe in happy wife, happy life. As soon as I saw it, I said, I need to get one of these for Mrs. SG. And I am going to try to pronounce it. Mocajete. So after my crude pronunciation, I'm going to give you guys the proper pronunciation uh, courtesy of the iPad. Mocajete. Was that close? Mortgage. No, I wasn't. Mortgage. Not at all. Mortgage. 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 Okay, so I wasn't even close, but this mortar and pestle, which weighs, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 pounds, is like this one on steroids. Not that I'm condoning steroids, but just to tell you the difference in size, 
So when me or Mrs. SG decide we're going to grind up some herbs, we can still do it in this, but this just does it so much better. And I'm thankful Lisa pointed this out to us because uh, it just works great. You can do it traditional style like you would in this one, but it's got a two ball system. So you can, you know, better than what I'm doing, but it really works as far as um, breaking up your herbs so that you can get it to a coarse powder, fine powder, however you want to do it. And it's just such a great tool. And the uh, molcajete uh, is uh, obviously is uh, Spanish in nature. These are common down in a lot of the uh, Central American, South American countries where they're smart enough to know how to do the job right. So <clears throat> just a real quick uh, video on what we're doing to preserve some of our herbs that we have in the garden. We grow a lot, we use a lot, we give some of our herbs to our uh, hens also because we know a lot of them have uh, healthy properties for the hens, the eggs, their digestive system to a uh, uh, rhythm of unwanted intestinal uh, critters. So just a lot of tools and we are serious. We have dozens of these jars, uh, dozens of these, and we've got quite a few of these and these are just handy because they're already labeled for us, but, and dozens of these also. We, these serve a dual purpose because we use these for herbs but we're also going to do a mushroom a grain spawn in some of these also once we start doing our mushroom um, process and trying to be a little bit more self-sustaining so once we grow mushrooms we'll take some cultures uh, and we'll start to grow them in these so real quick video hopefully uh you guys enjoyed hearing some of what we're doing uh, we'd love to hear what you guys are doing on your homestead, uh, especially Papa Pepper. If you watch this video, um, if your wife is familiar with this, maybe you guys can tell us if you have one, if you use the molcajete. I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but if you guys use this or if any of the other viewers out there, if you've used these, um, you know, tell us if there are other uses that we're not thinking about other than you know, grinding up herbs, garlic, you know, stuff like that. So quick video, uh, as you can see, this is a after work video. Um, just had dinner, which we'll be doing a video on one of the dishes we prepared later. Lots of stuff going on in the garden and I'm just excited for spring, so. SK1 is working on a science project. SK2 is waiting to watch some cartoons and Mrs. SG is relaxing after a long day at school and taking care of the house. So this is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing the Essiance Family Garden, saying God bless our great country, America. God bless you, wherever you may reside around the world. God bless your garden, your allotment, your homestead, that you have bountiful meals, hopefully with lots of herbs growing in them. And God bless your family to have health, success, and prosperity. And happy Colorado homestead. I know you like the ending. This is for you, brother. Sap her out. All right, I did it too soon. What do you want to say, SK2? Mm, get a fun cupcake for your birthday. Get some cupcakes for your birthday. SK2 and Sap her out. <laughs>